Okay, so I had some interest on how do I actually plumb this hydraulic system. So I'm gonna go fitting by fitting, start to finish on everything that happens over here. So we're starting with a 25 gallon hydraulic tank that goes from a two inch fitting to a one inch NPT. The one inch NPT barb, or one inch NPT 90 to a one inch barb. If I did it again, I'd do an inch and a quarter suction line instead of a one inch line. I still may change that. I'll probably shorten this up pretty soon here. That goes into a one inch NPT 90 onto another barb fitting that goes into a 28 gallon a minute pump. And it's starting to rain out of nowhere. Okay, cool. That then goes into a three quarter NPT, one side male, two side female, that'll go to a 5,000 PSI hydraulic fit, uh, gauge. And then into a 45 three quarter inch NPT with a three quarter inch swivel. That will then go into, I'm sorry, that is a one inch swivel, three quarter NPT to a one inch swivel that goes into a one inch hydraulic line. That then feeds into the inlet of the Prince. I believe it's the 4532. It's the auto cycle valve, 25 gallon a minute. When you plumb this, top of this is a forward and back standard splitter lever. If you put them both forward, it goes out, it goes back, it stops. Both this fitting and this fitting get plumbed directly into the front line of cylinder. This back fitting, I did a three quarter NPT to a 45 swivel on a one inch NPT because this line gets used the most as a one inch line to help to reduce heat. These are both three quarter inch lines and that'll go to back of cylinder. Outlet, standard outlet will run. One inch line into a one inch NPT T that goes into an inch and a half down to a one inch NPT. So that way I can run an 80 gallon a minute filter. So this thing is pretty ridiculous. That'll go from an inch and a half to a inch and a quarter, which runs directly into the hydraulic tank. The run the dump valve, it has nothing to do with front valve. You run an additional T over here. So these are all uh, three quarter NPT T's. A reducer down to a uh, three quarter to a half inch NPT swivel. That runs a half inch hose line. That runs into this split ease 30 gallon a minute valve. You torque the actual valve itself to 45 PSI. These come separate. Inch and a half NP, or I'm sorry, it's just a half inch NPT to half inch NPT swivel that runs to the front of the cylinder that opens the valve. Three quarter inch NPT line that runs into a three quarter NPT 45 just to route the wires a little smooth into a three quarter inch T. This is a one male NPT to two female NPTs. This is the uh, three quarter NPT to a one inch NPT swivel for the return line to the valve. So you hook up an additional line here. This stays closed. When the front of cylinder pressurizes, I think it's 200 PSI, it opens this valve and allows an additional 30 gallons a minute. So I figure if I'm running 30 gallons a minute each direction, it's only 60, an 80 gallon a minute filter will be more than enough. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions and know it's a bit of an octopus. So they didn't have shorter lines than this that would reach. So I have a 96 inch line. I'll probably order over the next year proper size lines to make sure that everything fits a little bit tighter and I get to lose a little bit of this octopus mess. But yep, everything works well. Let me know what you guys want to know.